So your boss has asked you to create a CSS animation of all the planets in our solar system. And you're like, does that include Pluto? And they're like, no, of course it doesn't include Pluto. And you're like, oh. Anyway, you go into your index.html and you start mapping out all the planets. So we've got our sun in the middle, which is a star. And then we've got a div here for each of the planets. And it also has a class of planet. Onto the styles. So first up, we're going to style out body tag. We're going to go a height of 100% of the viewport height. And we're going to set a background to linear gradient. We're going to start at black and go to RGB A, 0, 0, 0, whoa, got a bit out of control there with the zeros, uh, to 0 0.7. And when we refresh, we should be looking good. All right, on to the planets and the star. We're going to set them up with some common CSS properties. They're all going to be positioned absolute, and they're going to have a border radius of 50%. Now, we are actually going to do something different and use CSS variables just to make our lives quite easy. So we're going to say width uh, and give it a var of size. Now, we're going to pass in size, and we're going to do the same for height. Uh, but when it comes time to... Let's just get rid of that. When it comes time to setting the top and left, we're going to do something a bit fancy. We're going to say 50% minus the variable we're going to pass in divided by two. And we're going to do the same for left. So what does that mean? Our width and height, say we pass in 100 pixels, it's going to be 100 pixels. Uh, our top is going to be 50% down minus half of the size. So that'll be minus 50 pixels. And it will just center it perfectly in the middle of our browser. So let's go look at that. Let's go do our sun. We're going to give it a size of 100 pixels. Then what we're going to do is set the background to be a linear gradient. We're going to say uh, 45 degrees. Go from golden rod to yellow. And if we refresh, awesome, we have a sun. Uh, I'm also going to set up the animations in advance and give it one second and make it infinite, infinite linear. Cool. All right, let's copy this and go on to the planet. So first up, we have Mercury, and it is much smaller, at, weighing in at 20 pixels and has a background of gray. It also will have a uh, animation of Mercury, and it will go for 1.5 seconds. Uh, these are all gonna stack on top of each other in the middle for the moment, and then we'll move them uh, with the animations. All right, on to Venus. Uh, so let's just change those two. It has a slightly bigger size at 24 pixels and is orange red, and we'll give it an animation of two seconds. Fantastic. Next, we have Earth, my favorite and least favorite planet at the same time. Uh, it has a size of 40 pixels, uh, and everyone knows that Earth is cornflower blue, and we'll have an animation of 2.5 seconds. Alrighty, uh, we'll copy that, and we'll go on to Mars. Fantastic. Its size is 30 pixels, slightly smaller than Earth, I found out, and has my favorite color, crimson. Uh, and it will animate for three seconds. Fantastic. Now, on to the big boy, Jupiter. Jupiter. Uh, I keep meaning to double change them. It is quite big at 70 pixels and has a background color of dark salmon. Now, Jupiter actually called me up and asked me to give it that color. So we don't want to disappoint Ju uh, Jupiter like that. Sweet. Next, Saturn. Saturn is a bit of a special one, and we'll get to that in a second. It's smaller, and it is of color Peru, and will animate for four seconds. Uh, Saturn also has, you may know, a ring around it, and we would really be doing Saturn a disservice if we did not draw that. So let's do that here. We're going to set the content to empty, whoop, uh, position, position to absolute. Uh, we're going to set the top 50%, left 50%, uh, width 140% because we want the rings to expand past the actual planet. And then the height we're going to set to 10 pixels. Uh, what we're going to do is now set up a border. We're going to give it a border of 2 pixels solid beige looks good yep that definitely looks like satin ring satin's rings there uh, we're going to cancel the border top and set that to zero so it doesn't have a border top anymore what we're going to do is go transform 
uh, translate, we'll go negative 50%, negative 50%, and then we'll give it a rotation of about 30 degrees. So that's looking kind of in the right spot, but what we need to now do is give it a border radius of 50%, and boom, we have Saturn's ring. Awesome. Uh, let me copy this guy and we'll move on to this planet, which I shall not name. And it has a size of 30, 40, 50, 50 pixels. That's right. And a color of sky blue and an animation of 4.5 seconds. Now on to the last one, Neptune, Neptune, which is a slightly smaller at 30 pixels and has a color of royal blue and an animation of Five seconds. Sweet. All right, let's get into the animations. This is going to be more copy and paste. Keyframes, Mercury from, uh, and then we'll do our two. And what we're going to do is go transform. We'll go rotate zero and translate uh, X. And it's going to start off at 80 pixels. And then we bring that in here uh, and set this to 360 degrees. And there you go. And welcome to the party, Mercury. How you doing? Just chilling? Sick. Alrighty, let's get on to the others. Mercury, Venus, and it has a translation of 120 pixels. And there goes Venus. Whoop, whoop. Next, Earth, again, my favorite and least favorite at the same time, has a translation of 160 pixels. This is pushing it further out each time. Brilliant, Earth. Mars? Mars is next. Yes, my memory does serve me correct. Uh, 200 pixels for Mars. Alrighty. The big boy, Jupiter. Jupiter, Jupiter, Jupiter. Jupiter has a translation, now this jumps up quite quickly, uh, 260 pixels, because it is quite large. Awesome, uh, then we have Saturn with its special ring, and we're gonna go 320 pixels for Saturn. There it goes. Whew. Uh, what's next? Ah yes, the one that I don't talk about. Uh, and its translation is 360 pixels, and away it goes. And last but not least, we certainly have Neptune over here with a translation of, and the survey says 400 pixels. Uh, we should also animate the sun, I reckon. Let's, let's do the sun. Let's just uh, go sun, and then we can get rid of this translate, and uh, it can just spin on its spot. There we go, look at this. I'm just going to get the code editor out of the way so we can see this in it, all its glory. If I refresh, they all start lined up. It's quite cool to look at. I think your boss is going to love it. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.